welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, a psychic medium. It's not as exciting as you would think, <laughs> except for like all the paranormal activity that's always going on. <laughs> anyway, okay, everybody, let's get this show on the road immediately. So the first thing I want to say, if you have a question, if you want to connect with boop, boop, a loved one, call. Uh, you can call in 845-277-9131. Yep, the call lines are open. 845-277-9131. Um, listen, I say this on every show. I have new watchers, listeners, social media people all the time. I will never reach out to you on social media. I will never, ever reach out and say, you need anything. Um, if you want a reading, if you want a hypnosis, if you want a healing, you contact me. And the contact um, information is my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, or my personal number, 414-897- 286 8, 8972869. I think. I don't know. It's someplace in the description. <laughs> Why do I not know my own number? <laughs> All these numbers floating in the bronze head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, a couple more things. You guys, I finally put my first program up. So it's going to be starting in June, and it is on the website, the homepage of the website. I'm going to be adding another program that's going to start shortly after that one. Um, the program up right now is for weight reduction and ideal body. The next program will be the self program, which works with um, self-esteem, self-confidence, self-worth, self-acceptance, all those things. Each program is a six session program, one per week. Um, they're being done via Zoom right now. And um, let me think, there was something else about, if there's a program, I have a number of programs listed on my site. One of the programs I really, there, there are like a hundred programs I want to do for you guys, but one of them is um, uh, the law of attraction and manifesting what you want. And the other one is the dumping program where we purge and dump all trauma, abuse, everything. So if there's a program you want me to run next, the very, you know, I have the one up, whatever program you guys want me to run, post it in the chat or drop me an email or, um, a text and let me know, say, Hey, could you, could you run this program? Um, these programs combine a number of amazing modalities to help you achieve your goals. So there is hypnosis involved in it and the and uh, clearing work, energy work, healing, clearing, energy work, and then the suggestions. Now, one of the reasons I'm really excited that this is happening over Zoom is because sometimes when you're sitting in a room full of people and we're working on our, you know, stuff, letting go of stuff, some people are very sensitive to energy and they can feel other people's stuff. Also, when you're doing it at home, you can lie down, be comfortable. It's just like a private session, even though there's a whole group of people doing it at the same time. So if that's something you're interested in, um, go ahead and go to the site, see if it's what you want or not. Either way, it's all good. All righty. I'm going to go to callers in a second. Once I get to callers, the only thing I ask, once I say your area code and your first name, please let me know uh, what you would like to know today, I have a question ready and or a connection from above. And I want to I wanna say hi to everybody. Maria, welcome to the show. Bon. Sally, hey, Sally. Um, 
Mimi's here, of course. Heather's here. Kathy, as soon as Kathy came on, this song came in my head. Monday, Monday, da na 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 na. Okay, please don't hate me for singing. You can cover your ears, but um, Steve, hey Steve, Steve is reminding me. Um, we're gonna start the clear, start the show with a clearing. The first clearing we're going to do is um. Oh, Steve, you know what popped right in my head as soon as I said that bad luck? And then I hear, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. So, Steve, let's do this. For Steve, everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching, remember this show does air on WSCS and all of their channels. It airs on Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels, podcasts, and radio stations, and al almost every podcast out there. So... Yay, show. Um, we're clearing any and all bad luck, all that caused this, all that's kept it, any beliefs in bad luck. Oh, my. We're clearing it. If you guys are feeling this, please say, hey, you're feeling it because uh, this girl's, this girl is feeling it. <sighs> okay. Um, all that's caused it and kept it. Let's clear that. Okay, a uh, Caroline. It's so nice when whenever I see Caroline on here, I'm just so happy. I'll, I'm happy whenever I see anybody on here. And of course, Heather is here. And I hate Pat, Pat and Stacy. Um, hey, how are you? Um, okay, so Sally did ask a question. Um, should I move out? Of, I think it's, should I move out of my mom's house and go live with my BF Noah? Who? no. Yes, no, yes, no. Okay, I uh, should, uh, okay, give me a second, S Sally. Not yet. Not yet. I'm hearing it's a little too soon for that move. And before you move in with somebody he shouldn't I know this is going to sound so traditional and old-fashioned and I'm sorry I'm going to say it because I am and I know the answer you want to hear um, um, if you move in with him as your boyfriend chances are you will stay that way for a very very long time and it will be more of a you know it'll be a roommate with benefits situation at some point is what i'm getting sally um i personally think and i know a lot of people will come right at me for this if you're going to move in with someone uh, let it be a little bit more, if you're going to move in with a significant other, with the intention of that relationship going someplace, let it be more than a boyfriend. And make sure you two have the same goal and ideals in mind for your future. That's what I'm hearing, Sally. I know you want to jump on this and you want to move quickly and that is a red flag. Whenever you feel like you need to move quickly, it's a red flag. And if he does want to move that quickly and you do want to move that quickly, um, I'm just saying then move that way in a more committed way. Okay. Um, that's what I'm getting. I hope that's helpful. I understand if it, it, and I'm not the boss of you. You don't have to listen to me. Um, I've done the live-in girlfriend thing. I can tell you I wouldn't do it again. Mm -mm. I live and learn. Live and learn. Live and learn. Okay. Going to go to the first caller. The first caller, area code 205. If you would like to call in. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. And here we go, 205. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Connie. This is Patricia. Always a pleasure. I'm calling from Alabama. So thank you. 
very yes. much for taking my call. Um, I want to just let you know that um, each and every time I speak to you, you are right on point. Um, your beautiful, beautiful earth angel messages on everything. So I'm talking to you again to get some more um, messages um, on my home. Um, I spoke to you about the, you know, last year where I had the, um, uh, the storm that, uh, that um, caused damage to my roof, that caused leaking, and, and then I brought all of these people in to help fight with my homeowner's insurance. Well, um, I have received some money, um, and now we're dealing with the mortgage company, um, getting in touch with their lawyers, my lawyer, to get the funds in my hand to start the work. And so my question is, when do you see... Um, uh, the work actually getting started. Uh, they do have another check to send to me. Okay. Um, uh huh. But the, you know, we're like two weeks in with the funds, and it seems like my attorney can't get in touch with the attorneys at the mortgage company. Okay. I hear it's going to be approximately, if you want to know when the work is going to start, I hear a month. And almost a month to the date um, because of, uh, the, you know, we think it's like, just push those papers through, just get this out. It's not, there's, um, there's going to be like a timing issue and there's going to be one, uh, I'm hearing like a clerical issue, but they're both going to be stamped uh, clear very quickly. So let me do this. Any complications that would be coming from this have been cleared. I get a no, we're going to clear that. Holy. Um, this is the, the, the repairs and all of the, I was going to call it the healing of the house, which it is, but the repairs of the house are going to go smooth. Let's make sure that's a yes. And you know, this is giving me such a headache. <laughs> and I know, I know, I know you're going to say it is a headache. Yes, it is. It's a big old yes. headache. Yes. Uh, let's clear it to be like just to go smooth as butter. Smooth as butter in the sun. Yes. Just smooth as that leather, butter, leather thing. You know what I'm Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Somebody knows. No, seriously, have you ever had like a skirt or a dress that's um, as it's leather, but it's smooth as butter? It's soft as butter. Yeah, that kind of smooth. Let's go that kind of smooth yes. with this. Yes, I knew you knew what I was. Yes. yes, yes. Um, so let's have it go that smooth, that nice, that beautiful, that that just that good. Okay, and then I'm hearing now I'm hearing within a month, everything should start within a month and it should go smooth as butter. And you're gonna know because um uh, you're just going to know you're going to see almost like a halo around this. Um, and it's going to be so good for you. Okay, sweetie. I feel like you are going to have right. some good luck coming in. I feel like the dynamics of this are almost going to flip the dynamics are in her favor. Let's clear that. And let's do this clearing for you, everybody listening, re-listening. The dynamics are always in our favor. I get a no. Let's change that. Let's just boom that over so that the dynamics are always in our favor. And I'm not talking about unfair, unjust, trying to get over on people. Of course not. I'm talking about just, you know, in situations where the dynamics should be in our favor. Let's keep them that way. Oh, there we go, sweetie. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you... Yes. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. Be a little bit patient. Um, remember, sometimes things take a little bit longer just so that the right person can come in and do the job, right? We don't want to be in a hurry mm -hmm. and just take the yes. next available person because the next available person to do the job is not always the right person. Person. Okay, beautiful. 
Absolutely. Ooh. Thank you so much, Tony. I, I love you. As, oh. as always, many blessings. Always look forward to talking with you. Thank you so much. My goodness. I love you too. And thank you so much. Thank you. And give it to God and give it to the angels because that's where it all comes down. They are, you know, I just want to say something. God and the angels are always raining blessings down on us. They are. They're always trying to push goodness on us. And if we can just get out of our own head, out of our own mind and get in like to that, just even a blank mind, which I know is very difficult. um, But the space in between our thoughts is where we hear them. So we have to leave a little bit of space in between our thoughts or we have to listen to a lot of music because music is where they also give us our answers. But yeah, it's all coming from them. So, you know, give the glory. Okay, love? I sure am. I am truly grateful. Thank you again, Tony. Oh my goodness. You are so welcome. I can't wait to talk to you next time. Okay, love? I'll keep you. I'll keep you filled in. I sure will. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye, love. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. The next caller is going to be two zero three. I just want to say hi to Jay Francis who came on, um, and Anne and Kate and yeah. So okay, Pat and Stacy. Hello, Tony. My name is Stacy. This is my first time here. Welcome to the show, Stacy. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Wondering if you have any messages from Spirit from me, for me, for me. Thank you. Okay, uh, Stacy. I like to start with a little bit more of a direct question, but just based on, because I like to know exactly what area y- you want them to direct and kind of get that permission to get in. Um, the first thing I'm hearing for you, Stacy, and it's going to be kind of a quick little message because it's not an exact question. Um, But the first thing they're saying is, um, it's a, it's crazy. Since you're new to the show, Spirit speaks to me a lot through music. Um, And that song, ride something, ride straight up to the sky. And I see somebody on a motorcycle and then it goes into that song. No, 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 no. And I wish, I really wish I knew those songs better so I could get a better perception of what they're trying. I think they're just trying to say flash forward, like flash forward. Just flash. Is it fly, Robin? Fly, not ride. So <laughs> God, my musical abilities are at minus 100. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then the da na 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 is live or let die. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if those are the same song or two separate songs. Oh, my gosh. You guys, how? How do we deal with this? How do we deal with this all day? We do. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. So, okay, Stacey, um, whatever it is, that you have been thinking about wanting to, I'm going to say wanting to pursue, move forward, do an action, go for it. That is the best way I can give your message without having an exact question. Just, um, dun, dun, dun. and they keep doing that beat over and over and over again. Na, 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 na. Okay, so that I hope it. Stacy, please give me something on that. I'm gonna go to 203, 203. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, hey Tony, it's Pat in Connecticut. Hey, Pat, how are you? Oh, uh, I'm getting a little better. Um, yeah, I, I second that. Amen. But what you were saying about God. Um, I'm getting ministered by someone just wonderful. And literally the other day, I said, well, how do I do this or that? And he said, you don't need to do anything. Just let him come in. Yeah, uh, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. That's easy. Mm-hmm. So amen to what you're saying. 
And yes. um, I'm going to give you a call probably when I get home to set something up. Um, but because I, I, I'm about to purchase something again for chance, I want to double check if you're willing to answer this. 100%. He's been on Boswellia, B-O-S-Wellia, um, for pain. And the guy, I asked, I told him I wanted to buy more and he upped it by $10. He'll probably do it every time. I just want to make sure, is this something that's effective for him for pain and maybe even neuro, neurogenerative? Okay, I'm, I'm hearing that and I say, um, I say that's good. That's good. Other things that would be good is, of course, magnesium for the neuro, uh, um, for magnesium, of course, the com complex, the, the, the magnesium com complex, right. right? Sorry, guys, you know, I so every once in a while, the concussion kicks and I get, this happens. So uh, the magnesium with all of the magnesiums in it. Thank you. And then the other thing I'm hearing, um, and you probably have this in your kitchen, uh, is turmeric is really good for pain. Okay. So that, those all are right. what... That's the thing. Yes. The Boswellia would I'm be sorry. good. I would also look at um, if this guy is upping your price, just do a little search and see if you can't find the exact same product for a lower price someplace else because you, I feel like you'll be able to. I feel like you will be able to. Okay, love? Okay. Um, and thank you. And uh, confirmation you recommended magnesium quite some time ago and I was going to ask you about turmeric so I'll be speaking to you in a day or so yeah and, and um take, I do this, you know what he sells me bulk powder and I, I, I've looked online I'm not sure I can get it better than his price okay he's a but I'll check I will check that and I'll speak to you in a few days Absolutely. I look forward to talking with you and please make sure that um, Me too. you are, you know, I think the Boswellia is going to be good. I feel like the, the magnesium is the most important thing. And then the uh, turmeric will be very powerful too. And the, the thing I'm hearing about the turmeric, the, the exact, whew, the exact statement I'm hearing about the turmeric is a little bit goes a long way. Okay. So you won't even need to okay. do yeah, a they lot. Make, yes, they make turmeric. They make golden paste. It's yeah. supposed to be with fat, so they make it with coconut oil and then black pepper. Somehow absorbs it better. So I had all the ingredients ready, and I thought I'm not going to do this till I ask Tony about it. So Absol thank you. I'll be speaking to you about all of this. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you. I God Talk bless you. Soon. God bless you too, La. God bless you. Love you too. All my set, all my words are running okay. into one. I can't wait to talk to you. Call me okay. when you're ready and we'll get you scheduled. Oh, okay, love? You. You're welcome. You're thank welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, 614, you are going to be the next caller right now. I want to say, hey, Genevieve, how are you? Um, I think I missed something because... Kate said happy, oh, happy Monday, not happy birthday. Uh, Anne wants to know, um, and I hope I'm going in order. If I'm missing anybody's question, please repost it, and I will get to your question as soon as I can. And you guys, I want to let you know that after I shut the show down, I am answering some questions online still, if there are still some questions in the YouTube chat. Um Anne wants to know, my Uncle Steve, does he have any message for me that he wants me to know? Okay, Anne's Uncle Steve. Okay, Anne, I'm going to do a clearing for you, everybody listening and everybody re-listening. The one thing your uncle came through with, and he came through so clear, and he came through so solid, and he said, let go of loss. We don't always know how to let go of something right? We don't, we don't know, you know, it sounds like, oh, just let that go. We don't. So we have let go of all loss. I get a no. Let's start clearing 
and healing that. And then all sour, 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 that word, you know, that means pain, suffering, and sorrow, concussion, folks. I'm so sorry. So sorry. All of that has been healed, cleared, and released. I get a no, let's heal, clear, and release it, along with all that caused it. Okay, if you are feeling this, again, give me a shout out. Let me know exactly what you are feeling. And just stick with us. We are going to get you there, baby girl. We are going to get you there. Show by show, we are going to get you there. I promise you that, my sweet girl. Okay, 614, what's your name? And where are you calling from? My name is Phil Sun, and I'm calling from Ohio. Okay, how can I help you today? Um, I'm currently single and I want to know what's coming up for me in love, if anything. I, I, I'm sorry, can you read, can you read, okay, I don't do full readings on the show. Um, it's one and done because it's a free question or a free connection to the other side. Um, so I only do like one basic, uh, question, a direct question. I don't do the full what's coming into my life for the next month, six months, wh whatever. So if you can just put that in a, a direct mm -hmm. question for me, a more direct one topic question, that would be amazing love. Um, okay. Um, it does my coworker whose name is Lok, um, have romantic feelings for him. Okay. So you know, what's really, I love this because they kept saying work, 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 but that that's not the area of work they wanted to talk about. <laughs> but since you asked, let's go there. Um, or let's not go there. They're saying uh, if he has, if there are romantic feelings, they're not. They're not. He has naughty feelings towards you. I'm talking so PG-13. I can't even right now. Okay. He would certainly diggity that dog, but he would not want a lot more than that. Does that make sense to you, love? Yeah. And I'm sorry that I put it like that. And I'm going to tell you this. And I feel this. And I and this is not, I'm just going to say it because I feel it. Whenever I tap into him, I see a woman, which tells me whether he admits it or not, he is strongly connected to somebody else. Now, in all fairness, he could be connected to somebody that is not in the picture right now, right? Or they're, they, they, nah, hmm. I don't care what he says about this woman. They are strongly connected. Like whenever I see him, she is right there. I don't know who this woman is in his life, but there's a woman in his life that he is strongly connected to. Could it be his mother, his sister, a friend, sure. But this person, I don't feel like it is. I'm going to be honest. Uh, this person runs a lot of his decisions is what I'm going to tell you. And he might say, nah, we're, we're not like that. Yeah, they are like that. They are, they are like that. So before you let him diggity his dog, all I'm saying is, no, this is the deal. This will always be the deal. I don't care what comes out of his mouth. This is what the deal is. Just so that you know that, okay, sweetie? Just so you know what you're getting. If you decide to do that, that's what it is. It's only that. And it might be once. It might be twice. It won't even be worth the lipstick you put on for it. I mean, I'm just saying... I'm just saying, I okay. hope that makes sense to you. I wasn't planning on it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that makes I mean, we're adults and we're talking adult stuff here. And this adult is telling you, 
you'll be a little bit like, really? Okay, maybe the next time will be better. No, no, it won't. They bring their A game the first time. The first time they lay that down like they like they're in the freaking NBAs. And if they're not playing like they're in the NBAs the first time, it just gets worse from there, especially if they're not invested in a future. So not worth the lipstick you would waste on it, okay? Okay. Okay, Thank sweetie. You. But now let me tell you this. Work is going to go really good and don't play in the water at work. Like don't swim in your work waters. You're going to meet somebody outside of work but work is going to go really good. Just keep your work situation clean. Don't take a chance on any rumors starting with you at work because they have, they have, whether you want to stay with this company or not, they have plans for you. Okay. So don't sell, don't, let me talk like I'm from the 50s. Don't sully your reputation. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't, don't, don't let any, don't do anything that could potentially become a rumor. And it will, and it will, because somebody's going to tell somebody that's going to tell somebody. Uh, so, and people will find out, keep it clean at work. Keep such a pristine thing at work because they have plans for you at work. Now you are going to meet somebody in June. You have the potential to meet somebody at in June if you want someone new in your life. June at an outdoor event. Okay, love? Okay, thank you so much. You are so welcome. I hope you have... That really I mean, resonated. That really resonated. Uh, thank you, Especially Yay! Like, I, feel like, I felt like he had a man. Yeah. Woo, woo. I mean, okay. he had like he had a woman in his podcast. Yeah, I, I mean, I normally... I don't do cheating readings. Like if somebody calls me and says, is my man cheating? But he's not your man. So I could give you all of that information. I am going to tell you. And we don't want to be on the backside of that payback when it comes around, right? We just want to keep it clean. Keep everything as clean as possible. Okay. And I do feel like your work, wherever you're working, they have plans for you. So keep it Keep it clean. Keep it cut clean there. Do not do anything or say anything that could get to anybody because they have plans for you at your job. They're going to, even if you don't want to stay there, they, they're they going to want to move you up or move, give, get, get you in a better position. And they look at you with, um, at work, they look at you with high esteem. So keep it that way. Don't do anything that gives them a different vision of you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will follow that advice. Even you know, I love talking. I'm going to stop. Okay. Thank you so much. And I look forward to next time you have an absolutely amazing rest of the week. Okay, beauty. Okay. Thank you. You too. You are welcome. Okay. Um, 216, you're going to be next, everybody. Remember 216. Okay. And I did your question, Jenna, babe, Kate. Uh, we're going to go to Maria. I think, I think I just lost Maria. There's Maria. Okay. Maria says, things have become messy and complicated. Those are my favorite things. Ooh, no, they're not. I'm joking, Maria. Um, in my relationship. Ooh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Um, any message from spirit on whether or not my significant other and I make it through this and recommit? What is the timing? Thank you. Oh, Maria. Okay. Um, I keep hearing that Santana song, Maria, Maria. Yes, I know that is not the beat or the rhythm because I have none. Um, but we all know what song I'm talking about. So take a breath. Um, Maria, can you just please um, do me a favor? I want to tap into your significant other's energy. Just put his either his, his first name or first initial in, um, in the, um, in the, yeah. Okay. There we are. 
Okay, I just want to tap into his energy too. And I'm going back up to your question. Okay, you guys are having complications. Um, and I want to be, I want to answer the exact question and not go off on what they want to say. So what you want to know, are you going to make this through this and recommit? Yes, um, if you want to. What they want to say to you is really look at why this happened because this didn't happen over what is going on now. This actually started, okay, something started six months ago. I, I'm not, I'm not dipping. Only my pinky baby toe is going in this water to give you this answer. I'm not sticking my whole leg in to get all the information. But what I'm going to tell you, what I'm getting right now, and, and, and I'm not going to be able to tell you what happened six months ago because you should know. Uh, six months ago, something started. Whatever started six months ago has led up to this. Now, there's also something that happened. Now, whatever happened six months ago has been going on steady for six months, okay? There's also something that happened a year ago. When approximately a year ago, something happened that is also adding to this. What I'm going to tell you is you need to figure out why or work through those things. And then the two of you will have a much stronger, better relationship and it will be healthier and you will be re more committed and recommitted to each other in a way you never have. However, I, I normally don't do this, but I'm I'm going to say to you, Maria, you two might need help co in the communication department. So sometimes we can say something and we mean it this way, but the person understands it this way. And it's it it's be the way they understand it is because of something that happened in their past and it's triggering that abandonment or uh, whatever's going on from their childhood. And what I'm going to say to you is, is uh, it, 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 one or both of you are having a lot of miscommunication, misunderstood statements here. And you might need to really my favorite statement for when there might be miscommunication is, well, how did you mean that? How, you know, how did you mean that? What did you mean by that? Um, so that there can be clear communication. But I also feel like, Maria, there's something going on that, like some there's something that needs to be purged out into the light. There's something that needs to be purged out into the light. Now, don't everybody jump to, ooh, he, he be running the streets at night. No, it could be some emotions. It could be something that happened another time. I'm not even looking at what it could be. I'm just saying that's what I'm getting for you, love. Now, do you want to know, will you two get, reconnect? Yes. Um, but if you want it to be healthy and you want it to last, you have to kind of do things a little bit differently this time. That's what I have for you. I hope it's helpful. I hope you like it. I'm going to go to 216. 216, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Boy. Yes, hi, my name is Patricia. Um calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely my pleasure. Hi, how, Terry. Can I, how can I help you, love? Um, I want to ask, um uh, I've been recently uh I've learned uh, it's regarding an entity, a negative entity that's around me or um, that's been affecting me my whole life. 
and how it has played off as with other people psychically attacking me, but also you know, verbally in person and so on and so forth. Um, what is the best way for me to resolve and remove this? Okay. Is it going I'm, up on YouTube, mm -hmm. um, finding out information, nope. or should I go and honor Here, a, let's do this. We're uh, going to do this right <laughs> now. We're, we're going to do this right now um, for you, everybody listening, everybody um, re-listening, <clears throat> watching, re-watching. Any and all low dark energies, entities have been cleared. I get a no from each and every one of us in our homes. Let's clear them now. All confusion, illusion, delusion has been cleared, healed, and released. Let's clear this. And you should, I feel it pulling out um all we're gonna clear that we're gonna clear that okay <clears throat> anything and everything that could be attached in any way to you your home or anything with you and this is for anybody listening anybody watching uh, um for you and your home the angels are coming in now and just pulling that out you may feel it, you may not. If you are feeling it, please let me know. Um, if this, if if you feel like you need more, we can schedule a session or you can go to Jimmy Mac Healing, J-I-M-M-Y-M-A-C-K healing.com. Jimmy takes care of these things. Also, he's very good at it. Whew. Um, but this should work. Now, if it doesn't work, this is at about the 40 minute mark of this particular show. If it doesn't completely clear, turn it back on at the 40 minute mark and clear again until it does. And then also I recommend to people every morning or, you know, at least once a week, play this and clear it out of your, you, you your home, um, everything. Um, okay, let's clear that because it's just like, if you would see these things, they're little bitty specks, no bigger than, um, the tip of this pen of dark energy. And it could be dark energy, a thought, a pattern. It could be a thing. Um, I always say don't invest in what it is because every time you invest in what it is, you're giving it power. Like, oh, my God, it's a big, bad entity. No, it's really not. It's really not. In its smallest little, when it shrinks down, it is literally as big as the tip of this pen. <laughs> and Right? Um, so we don't give it power. We don't try to negotiate. We don't try to talk it through. We just ask the angels to come in and take it. And they do. And they do. Trust me, they do. Oh, and they will take it from you, your home. And once they take it, it does not come back. It does not. It won't be back. I am going to tell you, you are going to have some, um, you should feel better. You should feel lighter. It might take a second for this to release, but it will release. It will pull. Um, let's just get this clear, heal, release all of it. And it's not only for you. It's for everybody listening, everybody re-listening. Everybody um, enjoying psychic medium Tony Green right now should be feeling this. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it's a replay of the show or if you're watching it live. Okay, love? All right. All right. Now, okay, well, thank you. You are so welcome. And um, I want you to know, and please, please know, please know, it is... There is energy that is always flying around us. High energy, low energy, good energy, whatever energy. This whole planet that we live on is energy. And what I'm going to tell you is the happier, genuinely, the more we love ourselves and happier we are and the more we open up our center, the more more we're attracting in that good light and it can start to make us stronger. 
So please focus in on that and do not, I'm just going to give you a warning and this warning, please, you can do what you want. You're a full grown adult. I'm not the boss of you. Don't go searching around to people who will make a big deal out of this because you'll be broke before you know it and you'll have even more to deal with than you did before you started this. So just clear this away and let it be. It always cracks me up when people call me and they're like, my mom is seeing such and such in the kitchen and I need you to come to my house. Oh, that's a solid no, sir. I am not coming to your house. I, th this little girl is not walking in any strange man's house to do nothing. And let's be clear, zero. And I need you to tell me who, no, sir, you don't. You don't need that. You, you do not. You just, I can do it right here sitting on my lovely couch and just, have the angels go in and do it because that's who does it anyway. So anybody who wants to make a big production about it, is it really about what's there or is it about them needing the show? So stay away from that. Re-listen to this and allow it All to right. clear away. Okay, beautiful girl. All right. Thank you. You are so welcome. And I do hope this was helpful for you. Yes. It is. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Okay. Um, 510, you're going to be next. I just, I'm going to check online and see if there's any questions. Um, uh, oh, Kathy, thank you. That's so sweet. Pat, Kathy is saying prayers for you. Um Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to, uh, Pat is saying thank you to everybody. I'm trying to go slowly through the questions so I don't miss any, and I'm going to. I'm going to miss some. So if you, if you have a question I did not answer, please post it. And Maria is saying... Um, it completely res the answer completely resonated. Hey, Mimi, um, you're so welcome, Mar Maria. I'm so happy that that was helpful. Hi, Joy. How is Sal? Hey, Sal. Well, welcome to the show again. Um, if you and Joy wants to know if you have time, I wanted to ask about me getting new employment soon. I'm ready for something new and more dollar signs. I hope we all. Aren't we all? We all are. Um, I'm going to tell you, Joy, there is something coming in. You're going to have to seek it out. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I did a thing on TikTok this morning. Um, my TikTok thing is at Psychic Tony. And I did a clearing for moving ahead in career and money. And let's do a thing right now for new work opportunities are coming in, new work opportunities with better people, better pay, more money, more money, more money. Here we go. Okay, where are y'all working? Because I feel kind of like, blah. <laughs> what's up with where y'all are working? Oh my gosh, this one is sending my head spinning. If you guys are feeling it, please let me know. Okay, Joy, that should be really helpful. I am hearing there is something brand spanking new coming in for you. It is going to be something you are going to be, um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge in the beginning, but you're going to like move up very quickly. You're going to catch on and move up very quickly where you're going to is going to have a lot of potential for growth. I do feel like, huh, is there the opportunity for you to be, to do part, not all of it, like a little bit of it from home, but you'll still be there, but you might be like maybe one day from home or there will be stuff you take home and fill out paperwork or whatever at home. I just see you driving and then I see you at home filling things out. Maybe it's a position where you, like I, I'm not saying you're a nor, a nor, nor Ah, slow down, slow down. Nurse, nurse, Joy. But you know how some nurses work at the hospital and then some nurses 
are wound care specialists that go to people's homes and work on them. I knew somebody who does did that. Um, what I'm hearing is not that you're uh, one of those uh, people that does that career, but every career, most careers now have the opportunity to mm, be out and going to people's places, businesses, something, and then you go home and do the paperwork and once in a while or go once a week. I don't know what it is. I feel like there's going to be something going on with this position where you might be out on this out a little bit whatever that means let us know when you get it because i feel like it's it's coming in you are going to have to seek it out you're going to have to get online and or talk to people if you know somebody who does something or works someplace this is a very strong message for you joy if you know of somebody even if you have a friend of a friend that works someplace that you want to work or does something you want to do make that connection just find out the name of the company go directly to their website even if they're not hiring submit your resume three times twice the first week and once the following week and then do a follow-up call um if you know about that okay if there is somebody like that you know works somebody someplace or does something you want to do definitely pursue it. Now is the time to go after it. Like I have claws out like little, are they called talons? Tal like ha, claws, go get it. Arr, arr. Okay. <laughs> Joy, Jesus. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> um, Kate is saying she felt the, the clearing in her forehead. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, okay. I'm going, uh, Jay Francis, I'm going to ask answer your question after I talk to, I think 510 is next. Uh, let's find out. 510, what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, we're going to go to 845. 845, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Maria. Yeah, I call it from New York. Okay, Maria. How are much better connection today, Maria? How Thank are you? you. I'm so good. How are you, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. I got some more problems. She gave me a side for my mother. I buy my roof. I got the water in the roof inside the house. I go very bad right now. So okay. I get some things. I got to put a lawyer. I, I, I don't know what to do. Okay, Maria, I want to understand you, so I might need you to talk just a little bit slower for me. And what I'm hearing is you have water on the roof, and it's coming in the house. Do you own the house, Maria? I would say yes. Okay. Now, yes, that was just is this water... It's a smell, too. I'm sorry? I'm not nothing. You talk, please. Okay, no problem. Is this water coming from snow damage, from hail damage? Yeah, damage, yes. It's oh. my roof inside the house. Okay. Um, okay, Maria, in every state they have organizations that will help out people to do repairs in their home. Now, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't not, know if I I'm sorry. Go ahead, love. I don't know if I got to put a lawyer because I got to be on the panel and on the roof. And so if they pay one another, who got to take it away, who got to pay, who, who not got to pay. And in the time I got a smell in the house. I became an MD. So I don't know if I got to put as a lawyer. Okay, so I'm not, okay, so here's what I'm, I'm not understanding. Did you already have somebody repair the roof and it's still broken or, because the, the only reason you would get no, a No, 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 no. Okay, then. No, I would not Okay, then you, 
I think what I need to tell you, and I don't, I can't understand the whole thing. Um, did you already hire somebody and pay them to fix the roof? No, because I wanted the insurance to pay. Okay, that's where we are with this. You want the insurance to pay. Okay, so if you, okay, thank you, thank you. If you have, yes, get get an estimate from a very reputable company that will say that the roof damage is from like hail and then take it to an attorney and ask them. Now I am going to tell you if it's normal wear and tear, if it's just normal like stuff, the insurance company will find their way out of it. So you have to find somebody who can give you an estimate that's a rep reputable roofing company that will say it is from right. hail or what. And once you have that estimate, then you take it to the attorney and you let them handle it. Okay, sweetie. But first you have okay, to get, you. first you have to get a company that does roofs to state, yes, this is damage yeah, I from understand. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Okay, Maria, I hope that was helpful, beautiful. Excuse me. I still, just a minute, just a minute. Are you still the same if I'm going to go to Charles, if I'm going to go in Italy, if this is so, is my birthday coming up? Yes, if you, okay, if you, you want, still like going in? yes, if you want to go to Italy, you have to move, you're the one who has to make the moves towards that. And I feel like you'll get a really, really good price for your house. So as soon as you decide to do that, everything's going to fall into place and you can go. You just have to make the decision and start taking the actions. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so, so. Thank you very, very much. Oh, my goodness. You are so, so welcome. Thank it's you. absolutely my pleasure. And thank you for taking the time to talk slow so I could understand you. Uh, thank you so much for that. Thank you. And before anybody says anything, remember, she knows two languages, at least. I do not. I barely know English. So if somebody is talking to you in English and they have a very thick accent, no matter where that accent is from, Remember, they may have one language up on you. When you learn a second language fluently, you might have a right to say something, but pretty much still no. Thank you. Okay. Um, somebody on here wanted to know if they should move. Oh, Jay Francis, do you see me moving to Las Vegas this year? I hear yes, and I'm like, invite me. <laughs> yes. Yes, invite me. Yes, Jay Francis. No, seriously, yes. I heard yes right away. I hear like it's going to be very good for you to do it. Patrick, everybody was asking for you at the beginning of the show. Patrick, welcome to the show. <laughs> and again, Jay Francis, you know, we can do anything we want. We just can't wait for the moving truck to show up and pack us up and put us someplace if we haven't taken those steps. We have to initially take the steps and make the poop happen. Poop doesn't just happen. Well, kind of, 90 seconds. Kind of does, but whatever, whatever. I'm just saying what I'm saying. We have to like find the place, relocate, get the stuff there, all the good stuff, okay? That's what I'm saying. Okay, everybody, please remember I have new programs on my site. If you want to purge, if you want a program for, um, we have like 60 seconds. If you want the self program, if you want the law of attraction program, if you want the seconds. purging abuse and everything program, please put that in the chat box. Remember, it's all Zoom, so anybody, any place in the world can join us. I want to say thank you. I will be back Wednesday at noon. If I did not get to your call today, please call in Wednesday. I will get to your call then. And uh, if I did not get to your question on chat, please come in Wednesday. I will, I will answer your questions. I will try to get to you. Thank you so much for being here with me. I love each and every one of you.